In this video, we're going to review the fish mapping weed line information available from SiriusXM Marine. To access these features, you will need to install a Garmin GXM54 SiriusXM receiver with a compatible MFD. Once installed, you'll need to call SiriusXM Marine at 844-342-0665 and ask for the fish mapping package. You'll also need to ensure that your MFD has the most current software from Garmin. Please visit the Garmin Software Support Center for software update information. Once these steps are completed, from your Garmin MFD home screen, you can select Charts from the list on the right, and a Fish Mapping button will be available. You also have the option of placing this button in the Favorites section of the home screen for easy access. Now tap the Fish Mapping button. Next, select the menu key at the bottom of the page that is loaded. The menu to the right should show Fish Mapping Menu. If it does not show this menu, then select the three bar button just to the left of the menu until the Fish Mapping Menu is shown. Directly under the Fish Mapping Menu header will be several buttons. Working from the bottom up, the button labeled Subscription allows you to see the time and date information about when each data layer was updated and received. If no timestamp is present, the data has not downloaded and you should leave your system on and check again in a few minutes. Please note that it may take up to 20 minutes to load from first turning on your system. Once the times are present, you can return to the fish mapping menu. The next button is Legend. Tapping this button places a window on the upper left side of the screen, which provides information about the layers being presented. This is especially useful to distinguish layers you may choose to show simultaneously. Next tap the Layers button. You should now see several categories. Select Weed Lines. This layer allows you to view concentrations of floating algae and weeds and is updated every 24 hours. Press the Menu button to view the information on the full screen. Zoom out until you see the magenta or purple colored areas of various shapes. These areas indicate where weed lines can be found. Floating algae and weeds provide nutrients and cover, and become natural habitats for baitfish, shrimp, crabs, and other organisms, which attract larger predatory game fish. Press the Menu button to return to the Fish Mapping menu. Next tap the Loop button. You can use the Loop button to animate the most recent three days of weed lines, as this data is available. The legend in the top left corner will show the weed line's timestamps during animation. Keep in mind, the ability of satellites to detect weed lines may be impacted by cloud cover or other occurrences. Weed lines are constantly moving. As such, we recommend that you monitor wind, wave, and current information to better predict the location of a given weed line.